show today, November 10th, 1975, up in Lake Superior, oh good, seven, eight hours north, if you drive up I-75 from here, you get up to Paradise, Michigan, which is where the Great Lakes uh, Shipping Museum is, the museum where they have the bell from the Edmund Fitzgerald. Just thought I'd play that, just in commemoration of the date, being November 10th today. Anyway, uh, I'm with the show. Uh, we're going to get some more music in real quick and then talk some more stuff. Today's show, of course, brought to you by Blownaise. For all of us suffering those fall-time allergies, and oh boy, do I have them. Get Blownaise, man. Get Blownaise. For allergy relief, try Blownaise. Have allergies kept you from enjoying life's finest moments? Has congestion, runny nose, and cough put a damper on your lifestyle? If so, then try new Blownaise. Side effects may include watering eyes, sneezing, scratchy throat, dry mouth, hives, facial swelling, asthma, wheezing, shock, erectile dysfunction, double vision, bloody stool, menstrual cramps, discoloration of urine, salty breast milk, uncontrollable desire to turn left. Did I mention bloody stool? Headache, muscle ache, toothache, earache, all the aches, hemorrhoids, profuse sweating, bedwetting, night blindness, day blindness, mid-morning blindness, lunchtime blindness, blindness in general, blindness, the shakes, uncontrollable yelling, athlete's foot, jock itch, yeast infections, foaming from the mouth, lockjaw, lazy eye, the shakes, shingling, rickets, vomiting, loss of hand-eye coordination, loss of sex drive, and allergies. And watch out for that bloody stool. Ask your doctor for a free sample of Blownaise and see if it's right for you. Don't let allergies put a damper on your lifestyle. Try new Blownays. This the Mike Holder Show. Is this some kind of nerdy supervillain website where you get Tesla coils and blinky dials? I radio Mike Holder on Spreaker.com. I just love that song, Doing the Banana Split from the old Banana Splits Adventure Hour show. Song written and performed on the vocals by one Mr. Barry White. <laughs> yeah, that's Barry White. Deep voice Barry White. But he could actually sing high, too. I think that was recorded in 1969, if I'm not mistaken. I was like 12. God, I'm old. <laughs> it's the Mike Holder Show on Spreaker.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Mike Holder. And if you're on there right now, you can hit me up and chat. I'm there. In fact, 
Let's see. Ah, uh, you'll be back. <laughs> Someone was listening, but then they had to go for a minute. So they'll be back. But we have others too. So you can, like I say, you can catch me facebook.com slash Mike Holder. Or you can follow me on Twitter at Mike E. L. Holder. Mike E. L. Holder. That would be M I K double E L H O L D E R. And if you say it all out, it's Mike L. Holder. <laughs> the E L being the L, of course. I know, so clever. Not. Plus, once again, you can come right on Spreaker and follow me there. In fact, I'd appreciate it. Be one of my listeners right here on Spreaker. Just go to Spreaker.com, search for The Mike Holder Show, and you got me. Plus, our podcasts are also available not just on Spreaker.com, but they're also available on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. That would be YouTube. Uh, I don't know if you use user or whatever, but my handle on YouTube is MikeHolder01, no spaces. And there you have it. First of all, let's talk about some craziness. Mayor Michael Bloomberg, mayor of the city of New York, needs to go. He does. I'm sorry. He once again denied food for homeless shelters because it didn't get inspected by the city for high salt and fat content. You know what the food was? Bagels! No salt content in bagels. Come on. They're kosher. No fat either. Nothing but good, honest carbohydrates. Boy. And carrot soup. Yeah, that's unhealthy. Carrots are very unhealthy. They only help your eyes. They only have antioxidants that help ward off cancer. And many other benefits that carrots have. Michael Bloomberg either has it in for the homeless or he has it. He has some vendetta because he can't eat foods that have salt and fat in them and he's pissed. So he's going to take it out on everybody else. What a what an idiot! What a what a what a what a weirdo! What what a what a what a what a what a what a maroon! <laughs> what an ignoramus! <laughs> yeah, one of those. Uh, what do you know? That's my rant for the day. Like I said, hit me up in chat if you disagree, or post them on one of the others. I don't care. Whatever. So what were we talking about? Oh, heck, we were talking about world's dangerous jobs. Well, in Cleveland, or not Cleveland, Cincinnati, it's being a pizza delivery boy. That is incredible. Pizza delivery, uh, five pizza delivery holdups with guns, armed robberies in the past four days. That's two in one night. Duh. Yeah, I can do math, folks. Wild. Let's get this. <clears throat> now, this is really smart. This is Safeway, all right? Safeway, of course, is a uh, grocery chain out west. Although they've had stores in the east. In fact, there used to be a Safeway right in Dearborn Heights on Pelham Road. I don't know if it's still there. It's been years since I've been on Pelham Road in Dearborn Heights. Maybe if Rick Simmons, my buddy, is listening down there, he'll tell me if the Safeway's still on Pelham there. You listening, Rick? Or any of your kids? Lenny? Penny? Melody? Any of you guys? <laughs> Is the Safeway still on Pelham Road in Dearborn Heights? Let me know. Dearborn, Dearborn Heights. Right around the corner from Adria Plants, that area. For those of you who know that area. The rest of you are going, huh, oh, what the heck's he talking about? Eh, whatever. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Safeway Markets. Well, one local Safeway market has banned all photography in its bakery department in a desperate, misguided bid to prevent its horrific creations from appearing on a site called Cake Rex. It's basically a site that posts up some of the most hideous cakes ever made, and they're banning photography in their bakery section because they don't want their bad cakes winding up on this site. Good thing nobody ever considers buying the cakes and then taking them home and then taking the pictures. Well, of course, then you'd have to pay for it. 
And do you bemoan the lack of bourbon at your family's Thanksgiving Day table? I mean, Thanksgiving is coming up, folks. Well, how about this? There were some great ideas for Thanksgiving for your dinner table that have bourbon in them. Like, how about sweet potato, pecan, and bourbon pie? Bourbon pumpkin cheesecake? Coconut bourbon balls? Spiced bourbon apple pie? Brown butter and bourbon blondies? Bourbon baked apples? Mini bourbon oatmeal pies? Well, you could use bourbon in everything, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. I'll have to remember that. Now I know you can base you can base a turkey with Chambord and it's really good. I've done that. Chambord, the liquor in the round bottle has looks like a little crown on the top. It's the thing they used as the hand grenade of Antioch in uh, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. They actually that's what they used was a Chambord bottle painted black. <laughs> Yes, I'm letting out secrets of props being used in Hollywood. Sorry. I do those kind of things. A Chinese couple who got married back in 1924 <laughs> finally get to pose for their wedding photo 88 years later. Just recently. How neat. Wayne Hansen, all the way from down south. Some Thanksgiving dinners can't have enough bourbon. Wow, you must have one heck of a family, Wayne. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, PETA is now attacking us Thanksgiving revelers for eating turkey on Thanksgiving. How it's cruel and inhumane. Mm. Oh, plus we have a ho-ho. Oh, no. Union workers at Hostess Brands Plant in Lenexa, Kansas, walked off the job yesterday, kicking off a potentially crippling strike that could force the company to liquidate. Yes, liquidate. The Hostess Bakers have gone on strike. Hostess' second largest union, the Bakery, Confectionery, Tobacco Workers, and Grain Millers International Union. All right, figure that one out. You got Bakery, Confectionery, Grain Miller, and then Tobacco. What are they doing? Putting cigarettes in the baked goods? Anyway, as many as eight of the 36 bakery locals were planning a strike this weekend after the bankrupt maker of Twinkies and other products imposed an 8% pay cut on workers. So, for those of you liking your Ho-Hos and your Twinkies and your other Hostess stuff... Wonder Bread is part of Hostess, I believe. It could all be gone. That could cause Hostess brands to liquidate if they're unable to produce or deliver products. They're urging their employees to remain on the job to rebuild the company. If the strike carries on, there will be no more Hostess. So, <sighs> Twinkies could be a thing of the past. And I thought Twinkies lasted forever. <laughs> ah, yes. So what else is going on in this wonderful world? Lots of stuff. Oh, it's time to go. How about that? Let's get going. Sorry. <laughs> that was the last thing. <laughs> Lost track of time, folks. Sorry about that. Lost track of time. So I got to head out of here. As we speed up the bumper. <laughs> I just did that. Anyway, that's the show for today. It was a bunch of wackiness. Yeah, I know. But I appreciate you tuning by. Wayne, thank you for coming by. I know some Thanksgiving dinners just can't have enough bourbon. So, whatever you make for Thanksgiving, put a little bourbon in it. It might make the, the event go much nicer. I know it would up here in Detroit, because what do we get on Thanksgiving Day? The Lions game. And that never turns out good. <laughs> All right, so until next time, Mike Holder saying, always keep looking forward, and always, always keep looking upward. Later, y'all! You're totally moody. What a maroon. <laughs> what an ignoramus. <laughs> I'm so excited.
excited, I could squirt.